I think this should work. Mitt navn er Kari Sandberg, og jeg er daglig leder og administrerende direktør i entreprenørforeningen Bygg og Anlegg. sector and uh, is aiming at solving the information challenge created by CPR for both manufacturers and users alike. The information exchange uh, will uh, collect the DOPs and installation guides, CPDs, etc. And um, the system has been built based on that of the previous uh, EU project, ChemExchange. Uh, as you know, which also uh, got a lot of attention in EU because it was ended up as being a very good uh, project. So um, we will learn more about the PIGS uh, project today and I will switch back to Norwegian and also welcome our European uh, partners and my European colleagues to this uh, conference. PIGS is also a reinforcement of CHEM and it started with really BASF. Boss before that, but that was before my time. The first thing I did when I worked in EVA is to sign off on the project for CHEM. This is where uh, chemical substances uh, are, are focused on. So the idea is to uh, create a common language for the construction industry and how we can create an agreement about how to do this. Maybe people think that we're behind schedule and we're sh shifting from PDF to this uh, new digital platform. But we're going to be working more and more in a digital way uh, in regard to our contracts. So I think it's, it's arrived and will stay. And we want to create new uh, digital processes. And it, we want a, a data set based on European standards. The uh, contractors want to think internationally, and that we that we uh, think beyond our little Norway. And this produced uh, data templates and which fulfilled the national and European requirements. And all of the data is are, are available in, in a so-called dictionary, standard dictionary, dictionary of standards. It's in 12 languages. And it's been uh, developed to support the BIM process. The, uh, also, the requirements of char the characteristics of the products are included in this. That's the goal. Not so easy to read this, but we want to develop a cost-efficient system for uh, exchanging uh, obligatory market information or product information. It should be easy to communicate easy to understand and the contractors sometimes have to be pushed into this 
because uh, they think we have a system that's working very well. So we have to push them into working into digital platforms. This takes some time. Sometimes they need more time than we desire. We have also an, our own BIM committee. You're hoping with VDC and, the, and for the uh, large contractors. So a, a committee means that it is a broad uh, constitution of committee. We're also working visu visually and uh, with digital platforms. And now we want a mutual uh, sector system. But we have to get more in in this project or system. We need more people that are engaged. We need contractors. We need architects. We also need the skeptics to get them to start to work. And we work with also product suppliers to see what the uh, sector has a need of. We see that the market is not there yet. It needs some more time to adapt. So to get this to hang together, uh, or to ha get it to hang together in a better way, then we know we have been uh, we're in love with this system. It, think it makes things cheaper, more precise, more efficient. You get more for the money. And there's also less negative influence on the environment. Visualization gives you a better picture of what's what has what's going to be built, and we get a better coordination of the project. The planning is easier. There's a more mutual understanding. When it comes into the um, phase of uh, projecting and to visualize what is actually going to be built and to deliver all of the customer requirements and to deliver the products that are needed in the building phase and continuously in, be in a position to improve through VDC. There's also quality uh, control and uh, a more efficient, a quicker collection of the data. I've been participating in certain meetings where people have coordinated in, in, a, in a common uh, uh, projecting. In the building phase, we see You'll see, you will receive automatically a, uh, the basis for the construction and the requirements of the customers and which documents have to be uh, have to be delivered also it's like, like drawings and all of the information the data has to uh, be delivered to the different participants in the in the building project. So there's a better understanding of the whole picture. The models and the information is available at the building site. Some use, uh, require a continuous use of BIM already today and have um, a BIM shosk and iPad at the sites. This leads to less mistakes made, better co coordination in the across uh, professional way. And it's information that can break down the language barrier. And in the end, there'll be less conflicts. 
and we get quality control of the product of the production. In the operating phase, there's, there's uh, requirements to the supply suppliers. You get correct and relevant data, and you have the uh, documents and drawings available. The BIM uh, model has also a connection to the FN uh, data. And this has to do with the maintenance, the uh, seamless delivery. And this is best for the owner and the user. In a general way, we're sitting here with one product, which we will learn more about today, that will contribute to getting quicker and more exact information. It has a big insignificance that we can visualize the product. It's important for, but it's better planning, better uh, mutual understanding, and a quicker, quicker, uh, data comes in more quickly. And I asked some people what peop some people involved in the project, what's going on now. It's actually now we're just beginning. We're now going to put on the pressure. This is a contribution to a start of a digital trip. We're going to do what we can so that the circle is close and that we get a completely digitalized building process. And we want to lift ourselves one level higher. We are anxious and looking forward to the continuation. So I wish you all a nice day, and thank you for your attention.